-hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your musical background? My musical background, well, I think like a lot of us PI children, you know, PI kids in the community, we all grew up in church, yep, with the music. Um, from there, streaming into every day, I think I'm an 80s kid, so there's like music everywhere. I think that's the best year for music, what, 80s, 90s? Yeah, R&B. <laughs> so that's me, I'm that child. And then just growing up around choirs, solo singing and in the playground, battling it out, you know, with different singers. Then it moved into um, session singing, you know, yeah. Working on my craft with different artists and having the opportunity to sing alongside them and getting taught yeah, on the go. Too. <laughs> In April last year, you released Love and Other Things, an EP. Yeah. Where did you record it and who with? Love and Other Things was recorded at the um, Promo King Studio in Pam Muir, our East Auckland. And I recorded that with Promo King's The Label. But the producer was Dee Letour from Seidel, the group Seidel. Yes. Awesome brother. <laughs> um, with a big voice like yours, how do you keep it fit? Oh, how do I keep it fit? How do you laugh a lot? <laughs> do you have any tricks or exercises <laughs> you could tell people watching this? So, so who want to be singers in their own mm. right? Is, is laughing one of those? Laughing ones? is a big, massive part of it, I think, to laugh. I mean, if you're laughing, you're using all your muscles, your, what are your diaphragm, your tummy, your throat, your, what do you call it, your facial muscles. <laughs> but yeah, laughing is a big part of it. Um, what else is there? Other tricks and just breathe. You know, just <laughs> to breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> if there's, that's actually a big uh, yeah. one. You're from Mangere and have been involved with various musical projects around there over the years. For, mm -hmm. for someone who has evidently been active for this many years, it seems like you deserve much more attention from the media in general. <laughs> do you feel, how do you feel about the coverage you've received for your music outside Pacifica media? I think there can always be more, more coverage, not only for my music, but for other PI um, artists out there too in the in the music realm, eh? There's just what can I say? How do I say it? I should just be real. Uh, my music, I wrote it. It's wholesome music, eh? And there's a lot of shit playing on the radio right now out there. There's you know, and I deal with kids. Okay, so we'll probably get into that question soon, but I'm gonna hit it right now. I deal with a lot of kids. I work with a lot of kids and. They listen to a lot of shit, right? Okay, they listen to what you want to, that's awesome. But instead of filling their ears with more shit that's out there, give them something different, you know, give them something more wholesome. Start, you know, put our music out there. Listen to our music. It's worth the, yeah, it's worth the time. And if we, yeah, I think just for my love for kids is if we're trying to build up our nation or build up our kids from something, then start with what they're listening to, I guess, yeah. Yeah, you, I read online that you use. Did that just so to go off um, track? No, no, no. This is this is really awesome, and you're is totally it? you're totally right. Oh. Um, um, but it it made me remind it reminded me of my question <laughs> that I meant to ask you about yeah. um, what I read online that you teach children with music with certain rhythms and. Um, it was really vague on, on, on the description online what, right. what it said. So I, was, I really meant to ask you, I was super fascinated by the idea to teach children mm. via music. So I was wondering what you teach them and how you do that via music. Okay, so um, I hold down three jobs and all these jobs work with children up from new entrants, five years old, primary all the way up to college. Um, different, different organizations. With music as a tool, and when we teach it, it's um, like the medium we use it, like let's say respect, and how we respect each other. Mm -hmm. So for, if I was to use music as a tool, we would start writing a piece, maybe a little song, a chorus or something. We would use respect as in like, a, you're gonna respect my ideas, or respect your ideas, so we'll put it down together, and hopefully at the end of it, make, you know, make a song out of it. But they're just learning how to they're using music as a tool, writing down a song, but also the, the, what do you call it, the relationship communication skills, respecting each other's ideas, respecting each other's thoughts, and that's how you would use it, how we would use the tool. But there's so many different ways, but that's just yeah, an example of how I would use music, songwriting, 
to highlight respect. That's amazing. And that's just youth groups or what sort of... That's across, so from... Maybe give a shout out to the places you work for. Chris. Oh, right. So um, Youth Town. Yeah, Youth yeah. Town, East Auckland. Whoop, whoop. Uh, we also have Kiwi Can. So Kiwi Can, Auckland, East Auckland as well again. Um, and also, what's it call it? Great Success. And we're working in different um, colleges around the Motu, so... Cool. Yeah. Um, now the Music Awards. You've been to the Pacific Music Awards before. I have. What do you think makes them special? Because we think it's special. Mm -hmm. um, um, do you think they're special? How would you describe the atmosphere at mm. the Pacific Music Awards? It's a family atmosphere. Yeah, it's all family. Like, um, it's an open door. You know, you can... <laughs> there's a smile right there. They're not gonna, like, just think that you're some of the public there's no segregation it's like you you I know you you know me I'll acknowledge you, you acknowledge me come talk to me come approach me it's all of that there's no oh sorry you can't go there there's a red tag you know there's a yellow line don't you know don't go over to that people because they're VIP it's just it's an open door you can go talk to people whenever shake hands have a conversation it's just like being at home you know people come into your I don't know, to your sitting room and you're just having a cup of tea or something. It's the same kind of thing. You know, it's family. Cool. <laughs> now, give me a quick forecast for the next six months of being La Coco. Six months. All right, so we're in studio um, at the, just after the VMPAs. In studio working on our third EP. Hopefully, I don't know, by, oh yeah, by the end of six months we'll be done at third, P, third EP working on the fourth. If I can, I will. Yep, steady goes. And then start touring. Yep, maybe he has some tour dates in mind. Yeah, man. Europe. Is that too big? Nah, it's not no. too big. <laughs> in six months? I don't know. Maybe we could put it on the calendar first and start making some calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Uh, maybe feature on some more artists, local artists around. Shake some, uh, shake some hands and rub some shoulders. Who would you like to play stuff. with that you haven't played with? Oh, who have we got? Do you know who I'd love to? I'd love to do some BV vocals, backing vocals. Just putting it out there. So right now, if ever you need some backing vocals, Coco's here. Uh, <laughs> Bella Kololo, if you need some backing vocals, I'm here too, girl. Uh, who else is there? <laughs> um, what's in it? Annie Crummer? I'm just saying, you've always been a favorite. I love Annie. I know. She's amazing. Just whenever. <laughs> just give us a call. Yeah, just give us a call. Coco, we're here whenever you need. What's the best place for people to check out your music online? Online, so we're FB, so FB. Facebook, Facebook. yeah, Facebook, look for La Coco, so we have an artist page there. Also iTunes as well, iTunes, Google Play, La Coco, Love and Other Things, you can check it out. Beautiful EP. Yeah. Get it. Well, good luck for the Pacific Music Awards. Thanks, year. sister. <laughs> I hope you're going to get one. And if, oh. uh, if people at home want to uh, join us at the uh, Music Awards, because I'm going as well. Yay. Uh, it's on June 1st at the Event Center in Monaco. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>